That's the issue. So usually they are totally fine, mm -hmm. but suddenly it comes. So that makes the life is uh, tougher. So what we want to do is, can we predict when the depression or maniac episodes come in advance? No, it's unpredictable, isn't it? Yes, let's see. So what we did is, uh, we provide a, a smartwatch to the patient, uh -huh. and then we're tracking the, their sleep-wake pattern like this every day. Oh. It's easy data, right? Mm -hmm. And then we plug in their sleep-wake data to the, our mathematical model, mm -hmm. describing the sleep pressure and circadian rhythm. So that means for this patient, now we can draw their black line and yellow line, right? And then plug in this uh, information to the AI algorithm, so that that graph is now X, uh -huh. and then plug into the AI algorithm, mm -hmm. then what the Y is, when they will become depressed, or when they become mania. So here X is cheap or expensive. Sleep data, plug into the equation uh -huh. to graph, cheap, right? Mm -hmm. What is Y? Predicting the, the, the episode. That's expensive. Mm -hmm. If we can make that kind of AI algorithm, that's useful or not? That's very useful. Very useful. useful. Oh, yeah. So, it, it's, it so can we did it. Predictable. Uh, here is a result. This is accuracy. For the depression episode, uh, we can predict in advance with 80% accuracy. And then many are 98% accuracy. It's extremely accurate. Mm -hmm. We just use sleep-wake data. Not no information at all. Just sleep wake data, we can predict when this patient will suffer from depression or mania in advance. So, so uh, what does this mean? Uh, this is depression probability calculated by our AI algorithm. Uh, you can see that uh, it keeps changing, right? Depending on their sleep pattern. Uh, you can see that there is a zone probability is extremely high, right? This is when indeed this patient suffer from the depression episode and go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. So we can do this every day. Mm -hmm. So what that means is when this risk is increasing, increasing, we can give a warning signal. And then we can also tell that you should sleep in this way mm -hmm. to reduce risk. Mm -hmm. So that means before going to the depression episode, hopefully, by adjusting the sleep-wake pattern, we can prevent the depression episode.